Okay then guys, welcome to episode, I don't even know what episode it is to be honest with you, I just know we're about to play the FA Cup game against Southampton. Uh, if you were here in the last video, you'll notice that we've just bought Henrik Larsson, he had a fantastic start, two assists actually as well, I didn't even realise that. Um, on the old bidding front at the moment, um, they've just come in with 11 million for Klomp, that's what they've asked for. I've asked if it can be done over six months just to sort of spread the payments out a bit, I don't have to do that but I just think it's a lot of money. Oh, he wants a new contract. Um, right, let's give him that contract quickly. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that that'll be enough to persuade him to come here. I will simply say that he is he's a, an important player for us. He's, he's indispensable, which he will be at the back. It'll be so important with um, with Campbell because um, he's still, I think, injured at the moment. So you can see here we've still got Upson and Adams in the centre of defence, which again is causing issues. Uh, which isn't very good, but this is a cup that I would love to win. And I think, you know, Arsenal are famous for winning this FA Cup trophy. I think they've won it the most, I think. I'm sure they have. Um, so we need to kind of keep that tradition up if we can. But who knows? The way this is going does not look good, does it? Vieira's playing a night. See, it just shows swings and roundabouts, really, of this game. Henri's not doing well. Do I bring Henri off and put Bergkamp on? Perez isn't even doing that well either. Right, if I bring Parler on for Perez, swap them over, put Youngberg as that attacking mid, will that change anything? He's yeah, Parler isn't doing that well in that position. Mm. Yes. Oh, Larson, you absolute legend. Already it looks like this uh, transfer is paying off for us. That's a massive, massive win in the FA Cup. Um, the FA Cup fifth round will, will slot in between these two nonce games. The Champions League, I hate saying that word nonce. <laughs> it just sounds like nonce. Um, so between those two games, it'll probably fit in around there. Charlton at home next, which is, you know, it, it's a winnable game. And we'll see how we get on. Uh, fifth round... Blackburn away. Oof. I mean, it could be worse. Right, let's see if we can get Klomp over the line before this next game. Hopefully they'll accept that bid. Right, they've accepted it. This is good news. Right, okay. Right, I'm going to put him as indispensable because he is just going to be... And I want to make sure that he gets here. I, I cannot mess around when it comes to this guy. Right, Van Bronckhorst has got a new contract. That's brilliant. He's sorted. Um, oh, League Cup. Man, it's Man United, isn't it? Manager of the month, Alex Ferguson. No surprise there. Campbell's fit again. Brilliant. That's really good news, actually. The fact that he's back. Oh God, he hasn't come in. I don't, I the thing is, I like Tony Adams. I do. Right, parlor back. I think there'll be a lot of of movement in the summer with this squad. I don't. I, I don't think it's there in terms of winning the title. I think the odd occasional performance. I mean, you've seen the difference that Larson's making already. Oh, get in, get him. You can see the difference that Larson's made already. Um, even even Duff, to be honest with you, at right back, he's he's sort of pushing on a lot more. He's playing an eight now, so you can see he's doing the business already at this level. Um, but I think we need more. I was just looking round. I think, like, you know, could we get a better defensive midfield than Van Bronckhorst? I mean, obviously, we've got Vieira for that, but I'd rather have him as a central midfielder. Um, you know, I look at, like, Parler in terms of a, a squad player. I even look at, like, Freddie Youngberg. Um, Richard Wright, the keeper. We need a new keeper. Um, so there's, there's quite a few bits that we do need to improve on, but it's whether we have the money. I mean, at the end of the season, you always get a, a, a nice sum of money, don't you, when they're from TV rights. So hopefully that'll be, we can use that that money to sort of help us. I mean, look, at Tony Adams is playing a six. It's just not good enough. Right, let's bring Pennant on there. Let's get Bergkamp on as well. I think that he's done a fantastic job. Parler, Parler's not tired, which is great. I'm going to bring, I'm going to put Edu. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to let Edu push on. I'd normally swap it around and put Parler there, but, you know, they're down to 10 men, winning 2-0. 
Let's give it a little go. Let's see if we can have a chance. There we go. Campbell with a goal. 3-0. That's a good result. It's a good result. And it keeps us second. It's just over to... Very impressed with the way the team is playing. So you should be. Um, right, the ninth. Fingers crossed then. We will have Klomp. Yes. 11 fucking million. 11 million. Oh, what? They think it's unrealistic. Are you serious? I am... I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I I mean, I am. What more can you say? Of a I mean, it's starting to sound like actual Arsenal in the first place. What does that tell you about ambition of this club? It won't even delve into the pocket to get a decent... Oh, he's unhappy at not being allowed to move clubs. Right, shall I go for Kivu? Let's go for Kivu then. Right, Uva, can Larson come in? No, oh, no, he can't. That's a shame. It's fine. He's, play he's played with Celtic, hasn't he? So, kind of knew that was going to happen. Gitafe, transfer bid for Tevez. I still haven't scouted him. I'm sure I've sent the scout out. Right, that was. It's a bit of a kick in the teeth because I thought Klomp would be here for this game. Okay. We've just got to make the most of a bad situation. That's what we've got to do. We've just got to accept the fact it's Sol Campbell and Tony Adams at the back. And not Sol Campbell and Klomp. <clears throat> so I think Kivu's got to be the next target. I can't believe they've rejected to pay 11 million. I understand that he's actually worth like 325 grand. So when you look at it, someone for 325 grand, all of a sudden you're paying 11 million. I, I get it to that extent. But if you're telling me just to sort of improve the, st the squad and the general first team, that's what's shocking. Nearly scored then. We're actually not playing too bad at all here. We've got one eye on this. This is a massive section here that we've got. Win that FA Cup game, then that game will go in between the um, the final two games of the Champions League season. Um, the group stage, sorry. Oh, we need to. Take, I, I feel like we can. This is the most frustrating thing. Like it looks like we're all over them here, but I guarantee they'll end up nicking a goal. We just need to take the chances. There we go, Van Bronckhorst. Get in. Right, just don't let anything slip. Like, the team is playing fantastically well. Yes, that's a massive win. That Oh, that is, that is a good win. That is actually a really good win. United drew with Liverpool. That was the best result we could have asked for from that game against um, United-Liverpool. That's really good, actually. I'm happy with that. Right, Tevez is set. I, I, don't, see, I don't know what Tevez is like. Hopefully now I'll be able to scout him because he's at Getafe. He's actually at a club. I'll be able to see him actually play a game. Uh, right, guys, I'm going to leave it there for this game, for these Group D games and the FA Cups. Um, and I shall see you for the next video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.